In this video, we're going to have a look at the main problems with ChatGPT and how they're stopping you from hitting your goals. ChatGPT is meant to change the world, but I'm frustrated. It's, it's been pretty annoying trying to get ourselves onto ChatGPT and access the actual tool. There's even a paid version, but we can't access that. It's only available to people in the US. In this video, we're going to have a look at some of the main pain points, tackle the plagiarism side of it. And then in the next video, we're going to go deeper into the most popular AI tools and we're going to see which ones are best, what the pricing is, what ones make sense for our business, for long form, for SEO, for e-commerce. And then you can make your own decision. The goal is to save you loads of time doing your own research, getting you to see how they work and why they work differently. And then you can make your own choice. You can sign yourself up to a trial and you can get going. Throughout these videos, we've got links in the description. They do help build our channel up. Or if you'd like, you can just hit the like button down below if you get a few nuggets of gold during this video. I'm John from Glassful Media. Let's get into it. ChatGPT is using data from 2021, which means we've got outdated information that's coming across to you. If you're looking for updated news, trends, or any of that kind of good stuff, then you will need to use either a plugin or a different tool. Check out our previous video on eight Chrome extensions that supercharge ChatGPT. One of those will allow you to get more information. ChatGPT did just release a pro version of the tool, but it is only in beta available for residents of the USA. So for European people or outside of the US, you're out of luck and you will need to use something else in the meantime. Another, another big issue you will keep coming across is that chat GPT is at capacity. You can't even access the tool and you can't use it to start creating content. They give you an option to get notified by email to let you know when they're back and available. But even though I've signed up to this with multiple emails, I've never actually received an email to say you can now use chat GPT. So that is going to be a constant issue for you. Plagiarism is a big issue and will only become a bigger issue over the next few years. We see some of the AI companies already getting sued by different content re repositories like Getty Images are using a large amount of data that's available online. Unfortunately, is ignoring the copyright rules that are in place for those images and content. So the original creator is being overshadowed by AI, which would be a terrible problem coming in in the future. We see Getty Images and multiple other businesses starting to sue ChatGPT and the other AI tools that are out there. So do be wary of that. You can click the video above to see which of the most popular AI content writers are good at passing the AI plagiarism test to see if you can still get away with writing content that would be seen as SEO friendly or looking to give you benefit. I don't recommend creating all of your articles using the content writers. What you should be doing is using it as an outline for your content and looking to input your own information, which would be unique to you, unique to your business. So the AI content writer is going to give you a lot of structure and then you give your own viewpoint, which is going to give you a nice article afterwards, which will currently be able to get around AI plagiarism. Now you would have put a bit of time into this, so that may be correct because you would have rewritten the content. I've been using ChatGPT for a few weeks now and I found the long form content is constantly getting interrupted while some of the other tools are going to give us better long form content. When you're writing content with ChatGPT, we find that it stops writing and you need to prompt it to say, keep writing. It doesn't write a specific amount of content when you ask it to write a 500 or a 2000 word article, or you will be able to do that with some of the paid versions, which again, if you are a content writer or a business and time and quality, is what you're looking for. The paid versions may be by far the best option for you. Last year, your option would have been going and hiring a contractor to write one article for 50 or 100 or 200 euro. While now you can go and you can pay a subscription. So one monthly fee could get you 10, 20, 50 or 100 articles. Another thing that is not tracked with ChatGPT is the qualitative judgment that you get from the answers. So we don't know, is ChatGPT giving you biased answers? Is it going to be good versus bad? Is it morally correct? That is not really on the spectrum of chat GPT at the moment. And you will have to look at the content, review it, make adjustments and improve it to suit your own morals. Let's have a look at these problems in action so you can see what they are. So if you're looking to avoid spending time trying to figure out what the problems are, getting around these problems 
and waiting for the system to work when it's not at full capacity. Watch the next video, which is going to dive into the most popular AI content writers, show you the best and worst things about it. So we're going to save you time, give you the knowledge and let you pick the best content writer. We're now going to jump in to have a look at some of the content it generates and see if it is seen as plagiarism or if or if it is seen as being written by a human. Okay, we're going to paste in our prompts. We're going to make one small adjustment. We want to write it in a style of a dog breeder who is cheeky and witty, and we'll generate the content. And we have our article made. Let's copy this and paste it into the GPT-2 output content plagiarism detector. So this tool is going in, looking at all the content, and it is saying whether it is made by a human or if it is fake. This is testing ChatGPT2 while we are now on ChatGPT 3.5. So we can see here, this is 0.03% real, which is not great for ChatGPT. No matter what extra prompts we're putting in, the best I have found from writing content using ChatGPT for AI content in relation to SEO, and if it's been seen as real or fake written by a human is usually 80% but this is more likely what you're going to see the whole time, which is 99.7% fake content. Okay, so we can see that ChatGPT is really good at generating content. It can have big issues by not being open at certain times because there are just too many people trying to get on all at one time and their system can't handle it. There are issues with plagiarism. So if you're looking to create content, then be careful with that because you may get flagged, hurting your website traffic instead. Also writing long form content is also a big issue and then having up to date information. So make sure to check out our other video for that. And now come follow me as we go to look at the best AI content writing tools that are available on the market. I'm John, see you in a second.